Dad, how you doing? John. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You got a Harley sticker on there, man. Yeah, man, I love motorcycles. Do you? Yeah, my uh, my brother is a Harley guy. Yeah. So, um, I know, I can't get myself on one of those cruisers yet, you know. Maybe yeah. I, I think I'm still young, I don't know. Well, but I inherited a cruiser from my uncle. Uh, oh, did you? Yeah, not too long ago. I had one in the past that I rode to New York, down to Georgia and back. Oh, wow. And, yeah. um... I don't know, depending on the kind of riding you're doing, yeah, it can be a lot of fun, man. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah I, think I like I, all I go on to, motorcycles. I, I, I hang with a lot of, because uh, some of my friends, they've all converted to Harleys. Uh-huh. So I hang with a lot of them, and I go on these poker runs and stuff. Oh, yeah. And, man, I tell you what, those things you could ride forever and not oh, yeah. stop, where these, it's kind of like, hey, you go 45 minutes, and you gotta, you got to hang back for a second, and then, you know, catch your breath and go on. I hear you. But uh, this, yeah. this is it. Um, she start, like I said, she started right up. I think this is just the, you know, squeezing in the stuff. So, but like I said, the bike has never been laid over. sitting all winter so needs an oil change that's for sure you been in the market for one or oh yeah been looking for a while yeah well, I, I had uh, a the thing is I had this is the history of my, my biking I had a uh, hurricane the Honda hurricane it was an 88 hurricane and then I got rid of a lot. I started off with a uh, Ninja 250. And then I went to a Hurricane. And then I got a CBR 600, a regular CBR 600. Uh, and then. I've had a couple of those. Those yeah. are a lot of fun, man. I like oh, yeah. The and CBRs. then I got another one. I got another one in. Uh, in oh, what year was that? It was right before this one. In black. Loved it. And then, of course, uh, I think I was ready for some more power, so that's when I moved up to the R1, and oh yeah, it's night and day. Yep, I can relate. Uh, I've had a 600s, 1000s, had a ZX11, a couple ZX12s. Is that right? Oh, okay, um, so you're used to these, then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've had a I 07 R1. I've had one of these before. Oh, have I you? thought I mentioned that, yeah. Oh, no, 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 you, you didn't mention that, but yeah, I, uh, I love this thing. And like I said, I just wish I had more time. You know, I hate for to see it go, but um, I mean, it's one of those where, you know, I, I guess there'll be other times. I uh, just changed the tire last year, and like I said, it doesn't have too many miles on the tires. And the only reason why I changed it also is because this used to be black. This used to be black, mm -hmm. and I went ahead and, you know, I, I was on that R1 site, and I went ahead and polished it. Nice. So, yeah, it used to be all black there. But it doesn't, doesn't leak any oil. It doesn't, you know, haven't had any problems with it, really. How long did you say you had this one for? I've had this one. There's a title right here. Uh, this is a copy of the title there. Um, I got the original one in... Uh, in my safe deposit box, but uh, I actually transferred the title. The purchase date was mm. eight twenty of two thousand eleven. Yeah. But um, er, since then, I've already I put in the of course the the, tail, the integrated tail light there. Um, but uh, and I had a I had my my garage door opener wired into this thing. That's cool. It, you know, the, the things you get, the mod you, you see from all the stuff in there. Very clean. The alarm is in there. You know, so it's got the perimeter and everything also. But I hardly use it, you know. It's yeah. one of those things where it's like... I hear you.
but I mean everything is uh, very pristine as far as you know there's no shortcuts as far as that goes Do you still have the original windscreen? You know, the thing is, I look for that. I have a couple original parts. Um, this, I think this is like the, the tail light and stuff that was in it. Yeah, but uh, I couldn't find the, the windscreen on it. Okay. And I replaced the levers and you know just a little cosmetic stuff here and there. When is the valve adjustment due on this one? You know, honestly, it's been so long since I've checked on it. And I did a valve adjustment, it was shortly after I got it. So I don't know if it needs it again, if they go by mileage or mm -hmm. if they go by, you know, how long it's been. Yeah. So I mean it's been at least three years. Okay. Have you priced this piece? No, I have not. I have okay. not. Like I said, it was just one of those things where it just came up and I was like, eh, you know, maybe I should go ahead and just sell it. Because it just sits in that corner where, you know, I've been here at the apartment complex. I used to live right across the street, you know, in the houses. And then once I went through a divorce there, I moved here about two years ago and it's been sitting in more or less in that corner for two years, you know. You can't, yeah. can't really say I took it out and rode the heck out of it. But you know, as indicated on the on the title there, uh, four years ago, oh, four years ago, uh, it had you know less than ten thousand miles on. That's why I was like amazed. And the reason I went ahead and disabled these two, mm -hmm. as you can see, it's kind of you know because of the heat. Yeah. I went ahead and turned those off. Uh, I all I did was just snip the wires. So those two angel eyes on each side. Um, I went ahead and just cut it off. I was afraid it was gonna so there's, burn more there's no high beams? Oh yeah, there's high beams, but there, the thing is, I went ahead and put HIDs in them. Yeah. And on these R1s, you know, I'm not sure you remember, you said you had one. On the... Flush the radiator? Yes. As a matter of fact, uh, every season I usually flush it. Mm -hmm. um, I tried everything. You know, sometimes when it gets real hot, uh, like I said, I've been more or less stuck on the forums and stuff. Uh, they say most of the guys run wa regular water. So I, that's what I usually do. I just run regular water. Because I tried the, you know, the Royal Blue and all that other good stuff. And I mean, it seemed to be the same. Uh, I did when I when I came in the garage here to start up. I went ahead and let it run mm -hmm. all the way up to 2:30, and the fan kicks on and everything like normal. Like I said, it's pretty clean. Have you changed the plugs? Yes, yes, I have changed the plugs, and I mean I did it myself, but that's about it. Do you have receipts for any of the stuff you're talking about? That I don't. Okay. I don't, like I said, it's been so long and it was, you know, just more or less, I did a lot of it myself. And I mean, I don't even have receipts as for, you know, like the tail lights and, and things like that. Okay. So, uh, basically you're saying that the oil needs to be changed. Yeah. And, yeah. uh. Because then it was from last, last season. And it's just been sitting here. As you can see, you know, it hadn't, it's collected a lot of dust just sitting here. And all that, that stuff that's just spitting out is just from the uh, from the clear uh, chain lube there on the wheel. Do you know how to tighten your chain? Oh yeah. Okay. 
And uh, you know, as far as chain and all that, I mean, it's still the it's still the chain, the original chain and stuff. I have not replaced that. And like I said, I you know, I don't ride a whole lot. And the only long trips that I've actually gone on is just more or less putting around or you know, going on poker runs with my brothers and and things like that. So I mean, it's never been like gone to it's never gone to Kansas City or anything like that. <clears throat> yeah, my tags are coming due at the end of this month, and I was just thinking, hey, you know, it would be nice to not have to renew it. <laughs> I hear ya. And I'll tell you what, Kansas is the worst when it comes to tags. Oh, well, I guess you're March too, aren't you? Yeah, man, it's coming <laughs> up for all of us, evidently, yeah, huh? Sucks. That's part of it. That's yeah, it. And that sucks. When was the last time the brake pads were replaced? Brake pads have not been replaced. Okay. And I keep looking at them, you know, they don't scree or anything like that. I keep looking at them, and they're like, man, there's still a lot of, plenty of brake pads, so that's why I haven't touched it. Okay. Have you ever had to replace any of the fork seals? No, no, I have not done that either. And they have not been leaking or anything. Like I said, it's, it's been very low maintenance. Okay. And the only thing I've done is, you know, just change oil regularly and they, the radiator, I flush that. Um, what kind of air filter does it have in it? You know, I think it's just a regular air filter. It's not no. a K&N or anything like that. And it's a pain to get to. How often do you replace it when you change the oil? The the air filter? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think I've only changed the air filter once. Because it's a pain because you're going to have to lift all this up. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, like I said, if you're used to R1s. And, and a lot of it is, like I said, you know, I don't spend a lot of time on it to, you know, think that it needs all that and that's why I just do the regular maintenance on it so you know of course th then again it goes back to also that's why I was saying you know it seems like you guys have more uh that's okay. yeah that's just a regular normal and I do have just the you know those lights down there which lights are just you know like just the accent light. There's some in here and oh, some yeah. down here. We're just kind of are those up. always on? Or uh, can you turn them on? They're always on, yes. With the I it, I have them wired in where once you turn the key it comes on. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like it, you know, it doesn't heat up or anything like that. Where's the other one? The other two are right down here. It's right against the, uh, you know, the frame of this thing. Or right on the inside. Okay. Where do you normally get gas? I usually get gas just about anywhere, but I, but I always put super in there. Yeah. Around here, I'm pretty partial to Quick Trip. They oh, seem yeah? like they got a pretty good operation going. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, I've done Quick Trip, I've done Quick Shop. So, but the one thing I, I definitely do is I always do the 92. Which stands were you talking about? Uh, I don't have it here. They're in my sister's house. Oh, okay. But they're just stands to, to prop it up. The back and, and the front wheel? Yeah, the front, front and the back. And then, of course, you know, this is what I was talking about. Just just a normal battery tender here. Okay. That I just keep plugged into. So the front stand? The uh, front goes stand will go there? right under here, actually. Oh, under okay. those holes. Okay. And then the back ones are right up against the thing. Okay. 
And they're the heavy duty stands. I mean, they're not cheap stands or anything like that. Okay. All right. And cool. like I said, if I find anything else to, you know, like I said, I don't need it. I just throw it in with it. So. Okay. But. All right, man. All right. Well, thanks for making time hey, for no problem, me to man. visit like with said, you. Uh, no, let you think about it. And, notice. You know, see what you think. Uh, the title is uh, Free and Clear. Okay. I just need to get it out of the safe deposit box there. And um, maybe we could do a deal. Okay. Sounds good, man. All Appreciate right. Appreciate it. Thanks, hey, John. sounds good, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I know uh, with this uh, warm weather coming up, you know, we might need to hop on that. I was like, yeah, I'll just go ahead and look and see how it goes. Yeah. And go from there. So. Right on, man. Well, yeah, it's uh, supposed to be nice this weekend. I know, too. I know. On Friday, hey, it could be yours by Friday. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I gotta, um, you know, look over this video and uh -huh. um, do a little bit of research. Sure, and, sure. And then yeah, have, like uh, I said, do do what you need to. I'm not in a hurry or anything like that. And uh, you know, I definitely hate to see it go, especially you know, it's been with me for four years now. So. Of course, you know, here my little customization there, my my K-State Wildcat. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, as far as, I can't remember, is it this one that I got pulled over on? It was this one. I was thinking it, it was on a Honda. But I had a bar, um, I'll have to dig it out, and I'll give it to you too if I can find it. I had a bar that goes right here, where the yeah. license plate is right here. Yeah. So when you, when you sit on it, it kind of sinks, so you can't really see the left plate I got pulled yeah. over. And the cop was just a jackass. Uh, it was over here at uh, MacArthur. And he was just a jackass. He was looking around on the bike, checking the VIN numbers. It's like, come on, dude. And then he's like, well, the reason why I pulled you over is because I can't see your license plate. Yeah. So that's why we went ahead and made this new one. And, uh, yeah, that's that's all it was. Is uh, Like I said, he was just, it was, and it was a cop. It was a sheriff on a Harley. You know, that's when they were out at that time. Yeah. But yeah, he, uh, and the sad thing is, he wouldn't let me ride it. And he's like, you know, you can either get a ticket now, because he's going to give me a fix a ticket. And he said, you can either get a ticket now, or, you know, I can, you can come, uh, come back and get this fixed and you can ride it out. And I thought about it, I sat there and I was like, man, should I wait till he leaves and then I'll just take off? Overreacting a bit. Yeah. And I think he was just, you know, he was just a jackass about it. And then finally, I was like, fuck that. So I had my brother come with his trailer, and then we just trailered it down there. Went down about, you know, about to downtown, unloaded it off the trailer, and I was back on the road again. Yeah, there's no reason for the cop to oh, go Exactly. Around. You know, some of them are just jackasses. But, uh, yeah, and then I, then I, that's when I pulled it out a little bit. And all I did was for lights, I just wired in a little LED strip. Okay. But, uh, like I said, it, she's, she's a lot of fun, a lot of power. Uh, wheelies with this thing. I don't know if you're one of those, but man, comes up quick. Yeah. Comes up quick. All right, man. Okay. Well, like I said, you got my number, man. If you have any questions or want to see it again, okay. you know, just let me know. All right, cool. And Thanks, I, bro. I do, uh, I do run out of town quite a bit, so, um, you know, just let me know in advance and no see if I'm around. Sounds good. All right. All right, hey, man. sounds good, man. Appreciate see you later, it, bro. Take care. Two.